Hey Stampers, Kim from StampingInPerfection.com. Thanks for joining me. I want to share with you a new craft kit that I got. I don't usually do product shares, but um, I was excited about this one. And uh, a couple days ago I shared a video with you um, where I created a card using the April Simon Says Stamp Simon Says Stamps card kit, and I love the Simon Says kits. Love, love, love. I get such great value um, from them month after month, and I've been, you know, getting them for many months, and um, I enjoy craft kits. I just love getting them. I especially like them when they come with things I can use over and over, so I'm excited about this one. This is from Hedgehog Hollow. <clears throat> Excuse me, and I have a short video of what came in the kit, but I wanted to share a project that I just created, and um, I don't have, I, I have maybe 10 Copic markers, so I used the Copic markers, I, I think I have the flesh tone ones, so I made my first attempt at um, coloring a face, and then I switched to my Altenew Artist markers, which are alcohol markers, for the other colors. And I really enjoyed this because along with this kit, I got four videos from um, Alexandra, who um, owns Hedgehog Hollow. And the first video, I've only watched one of the four videos, and the first video was almost an hour long. It was just shy of an hour. And it was fantastic because she walked us through um, using alcohol markers. She, she specifically uses Copic markers, but she also showed us with Nouveau markers um, how to color in hair and the face and the dress and the dog. And um, actually, I thought it was a lot of fun. So the everything you see here except this sentiment came in the kit. I did not, I switched to a smaller sentiment because um, I created this sentiment from the kit. It has several choices, but then I realized that I didn't really lay out my card very well for the size of the sentiments that came in the kit. So I just wanted a super small sentiment. I think it's really cute. I love the way it came out. Here you can see some of the things I got in the kit, and I have to say, I tried, it came with these. Um, LDRS Creative Hybrid Ink Cubes, and this was a special color combination that Alexandra created just for this kit. And um, I used the black one. This is Hybrid Ink, and Hybrid Ink has properties of dye inks and pigment inks. Um, and you can use them to stamp your image and then color with Copic markers. Um, so I wanted to give that a try. I wanted to see how these really did work with alcohol markers. And you can see I'm by no means, um, I'm just a beginner with the alcohol markers. But I'm really finding it fun. I love the whole flicking technique. I think that's super fun. But I really did like the hybrid ink, so I, I'm excited about that. And I think I'm going to get um, one of the ink pads, probably the black ink pad, in the larger size and really give it a good try. So uh, I'm excited about that. But I, again, this is another kit I felt like is a great value. And the fact that it came with four videos for um, teaching us how to do techniques along with, like we have um, some, a bunch of dies, like the, we got a stamp set with dies. Um, and then we got another set of dies that will create what looks like a little bag, or this is the main part of it, and then it's got pieces to go with it. A little bag or a gift card holder or envelope or something. So um, I can't wait to play with that. I have not played with that yet. I just you know pulled it out of the package. But you know there's specialty papers and everything else. I'll show you that in the next part of the video. But I wanted to share how cute these little projects came out. And um, I'm going to try coloring them with my colored pencils because I, um, and I want to also, I think, try watercoloring these images. I think it's super cute. 
And again, I got a stamp set and a coordinating die set, which I don't have here because it's sitting next to my Big Shot. But um, let me show you the next part of the video where you will find um, what came in the kit. So just to give you an idea about what's included in this box, you get a little card that actually tells you what's included in the box, and you get quite a few things. Um, she also gives you links to all of her social media accounts, which is pretty fun. And then um, on the back, it's showing us that we get three um, coupon codes, which get emailed to us for subscribing, and then a little welcome no, how fun is that? That's pretty fun. And then, of course, there's two pieces of candy. These look like they're going to pull out my fillings, but I'm going to enjoy them anyway. And um, here's a fun thing: like you get the according to the card, you get um, either the fairy fantasy or the love letter die set. And this is the Fairy Fantasy. It says it has nine dies in it. And it's an envelope, lacy envelope die set. And it has three panels. Looks like you can use it as an open thing. Probably you could tuck vellum or uh, cardstock or patterned paper or even... Um, the clear window sheets in there. You could do something fun with that. So many techniques you could use with that. Or you can use these pretty panels that come with them. And it's got four flower dies along with the fairy. I'm very happy that I got the fairy set. The other option is the love letter die set. And I don't have any fairy thing so I am excited about that. Like this is different than anything I have so that's fun. Then it says you also get the Mini Winnie and Furry Fabulous Stampin' Die Set. This is super cute. This is the Furry Fabulous Set. I also don't have anything like this. I don't have any... I don't actually have um, a lot of people or, you know, the faces to color in, so I'm excited about that. And I really don't have any... a lot of critter sets. And along with that comes a coordinating die set. I love having a coordinating die set. And this is from the Little Darlings Rubber Stamp Company. So that's pretty fun. Cute, cute, cute. I, I um, always think that when I buy my rubber stamps, the times that I don't also purchase a coordinating die set, I always regret not getting that coordinating die set because I use the stamp set so much more when I can use the coordinating die set to cut it out because there's so many things you can do. You can do scene building things and you know all kinds of different um, you can add a lot of dimension by popping those up and it's so much nicer to have and quicker to have that coordinating die set along with it. So it's pretty fun that you get the stamp set and the coordinating die set. So I like that. Then it has three, um, three specialty papers here. And it doesn't, I don't see these listed on there, but I don't know if you can see the, the texture. This is like a Swiss dot pattern in two different colors. And then this is actually, this also has a nice texture to it which I definitely cannot capture on camera, but that's pretty fun. Those are fun colors for spring. And I already opened this because I couldn't wait to see the papers. But there are 24 sheets here. 12 sheets of sweet pea paper and 12 sheets of pretty perfect paper in beautiful spring colors. They are one-sided. And they're a nice heavy weight, actually. I don't know what the weight is. Look at that. the butterflies. How pretty is that? And um, so these are going to be fun for creating. Look at, I love stripes. I, I don't know why stripes right now are like my favorite pattern paper things. And then um, toward the bottom, oh, this, this actually, this must be the other kind. I don't know which is which to be honest. But this paper has a little bit of a, it looks like it's got texture to it. It sort of feels like that piece anyway, and you get a variety. This is almost like a grunge, and it does look it does look like it's got a slight texture to it. But uh, look at the buttons! How cute are these? Patchwork, little Swiss dots, more stripes. I love the stripes, 
and the plaids. Those are all, the stripes and plaids are really the thing right now, aren't they? Love that. 24 pieces. And then I get some, I believe this is Nina Solar White, and this feels heavier than my 80 pound. Maybe this is 90 pound. But I get a few pieces of that. And then I have this beautiful, wow, this has a shimmer to it. It's got a texture and a shimmer. Isn't that pretty? I love this color. Love, love, love this color. That's really pretty. A piece of vellum. That will be nice on the envelopes. And then I'm really excited about this. These are hybrid inks, and it's a nice variety of colors for um, spring. But the hybrid inks, from what I understand, are a combination of dye inks and permanent inks. I think they're a combination of... Is it um, safe with water and alcohol markers so I can use them for just about anything? They're supposed to be like good multi purpose, like you don't have to worry about whether you're using them with dye markers or alcohol markers. So I can't wait to try these out, and I am excited about the colors. Those are really fun colors for a spring collection. And then for um, regular subscribers, which I believe means that you bought the three or the six month or I think there's also a 12 month option, you get an embossing powder and you either get clear or white. I'm happy to say I got clear because clear you can put on top of your colors and really make those colors pop and give your sentiments and your um, images uh, a shine and make them really, really pop off the um, card or the project that you're creating. So that's actually pretty fun. I'm, I have to say I'm happy to say with the variety of things I've gotten here and the fact that um, these are really different things that I already have in my craft stash. So I can't wait to try some of them. So I'll share some of the projects that I make with you. Thanks for watching. Stop by my blog at stampingimperfection.com.